Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here with an unboxing from Critters and More. Critters and More happens to be one of my patrons and we were chatting on through the Patreon messaging and decided to do a bit of a trade. It's a pretty cool thing about being a patron. And we've got the uh, Aphis uh, sheet about the organisms. I send this with my uh, my isopods that I ship as well. Nice. Got a little note here too. Look at that. Thanks for the trade, all the good reference videos, and for helping me out along the critter journey. Best Braden. Tried to find out a few, find a few colorful punticanas. Hopefully the color holds true as they mature. Awesome. That's cool. I didn't know he was going to send punticanas. That's very cool. And there's his contact information, Critters and More. I like that card. All right. So, it's like the cold pack right there. Yep, taped up to the top. And here are some critters. Okay, these are confused rice flower beetles. I have been raising these for years and years, but my colony is a little old and I'm wondering if it needs some new blood. And so um, I would like to, you know, get some, get some new ones going. So that's why I have these. The colony I have now has been going for probably, I don't know, nine years or something like that. Eight years, I don't know exactly. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Looks like he's put some surprise critters in here, which is fun. Let's see. Okay. Magic Potion, the USA line. I haven't had these before. So these will be great. I have the Japanese line and I have the orange Dalmatian, but I don't have the US line yet. So now I do. Thanks, Braden. All right. Looking nice and magical here. Let's put some, let's put them in the moss. Looks like we've got some good density there. Look at that. Looking great, Brayden. Before we unbox any more of these little beauties, I want to give a shout out to my patrons at Patreon. If you haven't checked Patreon out yet, Basically, it's a really nice way for you to support content creators that you appreciate. And I very much appreciate the support. There's a lot that I do on this channel that I simply could not do without the help of my patrons. So if you'd like to support Aquarimax for as little as a dollar a month, please click the link at the end of the video or in the description. Let's see what we've got here. Punta Cana. Cool. I'm excited for some more to add to my bloodline there as well. Okay, let's put these Punta Canas in the bin. I can see a light orange tone on some of the individuals in here that is quite different from anything that I have in my main Punta Cana culture. So these will be great for some genetic diversity in here. Armadillidium paracae, or paracae. This is a species I haven't kept yet. I have it on my permit to be able to keep, but I didn't have it, so now I do. Pretty excited about that. That'll be fun. Fast breeding armadillidium. There are a bunch of Rock eye right there, looking great. Let's put him in. Maybe I'll need to put him in a bigger bin. Thinking I was getting smaller ones, but I'm not complaining about bigger ones. There's some nice big ones in there. Holy cow. Looking good. I'll probably switch those out for a bigger bin. And these are Armadillidium nasatum peach. I've actually had this species for a long time, and this more for a long time, but again, I wanted some more 
new blood. So I'm excited to get some. The ones I got from Oregon McMonagall many, many years ago are still doing well, but uh, it doesn't hurt to uh, kind of refresh the bloodlines a little bit. So let's get these open. They're looking good. Good numbers in there, very active. Looking great. So I'm gonna put them down here on the mossy side. Let them do their thing. I hope you enjoyed today's isopod unboxing. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video.